Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said, the ongoing continuous voter registration CVR exercise is now into the fourth quarter nationwide. He stated that it was suspended for the 2019 general elections and other challenges such as COVID-19 further delayed it. In resetting the CVR, the commissions introduced the online registration system as part of the commission's determination to continue to improve the electoral process and ensure that Nigerian voters have the best of voting experience. The innovation, he added, makes it possible for intending registrants and already registered voters who may have issues with their registration to commence the process online and subsequently complete it in person at the registration center of their choice. For the pre-registration option, 1,014,382 registrants completed the process, while 1,509,076 Nigerians registered in person at our designated registration centers nationwide. Furthermore, 671,106 Nigerians submitted requests to update their records transfer their registration from where they are currently registered to other locations or the replacement of their lost or damaged PDCs. The nation's chief electoral umpire noted that based on the reports received so far, since the resumption of the CVR exercise, millions of eligible citizens have availed themselves of the opportunity as well as the physical registration across the states and local government areas offices nationwide. Into four phases as follows. Phase 1, Registration of Voters, 28th June to 21st September 2021, is done. The second phase, Registration of Voters, 4th October to 20th December 2021, that has also been accomplished. The third quarter, 3rd January to 22nd March 2022, that has been accomplished of voters 11th April to 30th June 2022. So the, the fourth quarter, which is the last, commenced two days ago on the 11th of April. On the cleaning up of data, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said, while the number of new registrants is very impressive and demonstrates the eagerness of Nigerians to vote, in the forthcoming elections, the Commission has a duty to clean up the data to ensure that only eligible Nigerians are registered. Unfortunately, the troubling issue of invalid registration still persists, which we detected while cleaning up the latest registration data. As against the is used in previous exercises, the Biometric Identification System, the ABIS, which is a more comprehensive and robust system, involving not just fingerprint identification, but also facial biometric recognition. The chairman stated that youths of ages 18 to 34 years made up the 78.7% of total registration so far. An analysis of the breakdown of the completed valid and invalid registration as at 14 January 2022 for Plateau State shows that 43,000 195 completed their registration. Out of the number, 24,455 were valid, while 18,700 were invalid, giving a 43.4% of the completed registration were invalid. Highlights of the press briefing was a formal unveiling of the CVR by the chairman of the commission, flanked by his national commissioners. This is Roland Longs.